how to simplify a fraction uh, for example if I have uh, 25 divided by 35 so how would I simplify this fraction so the idea of simplifying the fraction is that we need to use the smallest term both for the denominator and numerator without changing the value of the fraction so in this case if I look carefully at 25 first I need to make the factors of 25 so how can I write 25 I can write 25 as 5 multiply by 5 I can't factor it anymore right and uh, for 35 I can say 5 into 7 now I can't factor it anymore so now if you look at uh, the fives the fives are common so I can uh, kill the fives and I'm left with 5 divided by 7 so this is my uh, simplified fraction right? uh, now take uh, another example if I have uh, 21 and I'm dividing by 36 so how will I do this so again I'll try to write the fractions uh, uh, I have to write the factors so for 21 first I'll say 2 now I can't divide 21 by 2 what about 3 yes I can divide it by 3 so I'll say 3 into 7 so that is 21 now if you look at 36 it is an even number so it is divisible by 2 so it will be first 8 18 by 2 and 18 is further uh, I can further divide it into uh, 9 into 2 and 9 I can further say 3 into 3 into 2 right so that will be equal to 3 multiplied by 7 and then 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 so let's check 3 into 3 is 9 9 into 2 is 18 18 into 2 is 36 now so this is what we have now we can cancel out the 3 and we are left with uh, 7 divided by 3 into 2 is 6 6 into 2 is 12 so the answer is 7 by 12 uh, let's take another example if I have uh, 63 and then uh, here I have uh, suppose 81 so um, again if I factor it out um, I can write uh, it as 9 multiplied by 7 and here I can write it as 9 multiplied by 9 I can factor it further I can also write 3 into 3 into 7 and I can write this one as 3 into 3 multiplied by 3 into 3 however we I don't have to do this step because I can always go and cancel lines here it will be same as if I cancel 3 and 3 here so if you're a beginner and you want to make it make sure that you are you want to follow all the steps then you can always go to this step but once uh, you have enough practice you don't have to go to the exact fraction so now here I can say 7 divided by 9 so that is your answer this is a simplified fraction uh, now let's take another example suppose if I have uh, x this is uh, more of a um, I'm now using a variable so if I have x square plus x and uh, below I have x uh, plus 1 so how will I solve this fraction so again I can factor it uh, I can say x and say x plus 1 and then I can write x plus 1 so basically I factored the numerator so now I can cancel x plus 1 and x plus 1 and I'll get the answer is equal to x so now as you can see this is much simpler form uh, of the fraction as compared to this form so I hope uh, this video helped and uh, if you like the video please thumbs up and uh, we can uh, do more maths in the more upcoming videos please check out our channel thank you very much